What's going down everybody? Sorry is here. Hope you guys are rocking out in February. Brand new year. I'm hoping lots of opportunities are going well for you. But I've been a little busy and a little inundated with a brand new job. That means brand new training, being treated like the new person. <laughs> it always kind of stinks when you're, 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 you know, you start a new job. But I'm really grateful that I have a brand new position. You know, and I'm hoping that this is going to come to fruition eventually where things are going to work out and I'm going to wake up one day. I'm going to go to work and I'm going to be like, you know what, Cyrus, I feel comfortable in my, my environment. I feel like I can actually do my job perfectly, you know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping that if you guys have any brand new careers that you're training in or you have any new obligations that are kind of like long term and you're setting up your future, y'all, I just hope that everything works out for you guys. Let's get back to the gameplay because that is what counts. Ice Cave. Firebug gameplay, we're going to be rocking out with Flare Revolver, the Trench Gun, and my favorite, the Hand Cannon. <laughs> so right here, Tight Corridors, a really tough map to hold still in. So what we're doing is we're going to be kiting around, not to mention that kiting, in my opinion, is extremely fun, very exciting, and you never know what's going to be around that corner. So you have to be very, very aware and very alert and very kind of dynamic. You have to make sure that you're flexible and you're moving forward. So one thing I really like about the Flare Revolver is that not only does this thing do a ton of damage, even DOT damage over time, but it's just it's just a beautiful weapon. It, it sends this crazy awesome magnesium flare a straight ahead downrange to an enemy and it just burns the crap out of stuff. You can see just how cool it looks. I really love it. It's part of the community weapon pack, which I highly recommend if you haven't already done so. Even if you don't want it, just get it to support Tripwire. <laughs> One drawback, though, of the Flare Revolver is that it does have a slow projectile speed, so when you need to bridge that gap and kill an enemy very quickly, I would highly recommend rocking out either the lever-action rifle, maybe a hand cannon. It depends. It's really all your choice. I mean, honestly, with the Firebug being really designated to take out the trash enemies like the Clots, the Stalkers, the Gorefast, stuff like that, you know, personally, I think every way is the right way. So choose a style and a weapon system that you like. Multiple weapon systems, because in this game, you know, you can carry like tons and tons of weapons, which is really cool. So I like the hand cannon because it bridges that gap. You can see it's very quick, very accurate. I mean, all the, all the guns are pretty much zero point accuracy. I mean, if you shoot them, they're laser gun accurate. The only thing you have to worry about is vertical recoil, which I actually covered in a totally unrelated Planet Side 2 video. <laughs> and speaking of which, I really am digging the game's progression. If you guys haven't checked it out, I'd highly recommend it. It's not a co-op game like Killing Floor, but it does have some FPS elements that are very similar, like aiming down the sights, moving, a little bit of you know vertical recoil compensation. It's a lot of fun. I'm having a good time with it, even though it is brand new. I mean, it's only been like what a couple months old, but uh, regardless, I mean, getting back, I mean, you know, if you want guys want to see some more footage, I've I've had numerous requests that people want to see some more tips and some more strategies. Again, Saris Games is all about being able to create a cool environment where people can learn some tips, tricks, and maybe even just kind of discuss some things amongst each other to try to get better at FPS games, you know, so they're feeling more comfortable and you're in that comfort zone. So right here, you notice that there are no big enemies. They're all trash. Well, minus the siren. Those guys are really crazy. You got to kill those quickly. But right there, you see, I tried to go ahead and detonate one of my fire nades with the flare revolver. That's a cool trick. If you get it right, it's going to do a ton of damage, and you're going to barbecue a ton of enemies. This is what I like to call multitasking. Yeah! <laughs> but anyways, you got to watch out for this hole right here where I'm sending flares down range. Sometimes a lot of gore fast, a lot of crazy stuff can pop out through those caverns. This map is kind of like ambush central. So you want to definitely be moving at a really brisk pace, if you want to call it that. Another really dangerous area. Now right there, you saw the effectiveness of the flare gun being able to be detonating those fire nades very quickly. It just does massive damage if you time it correctly. It's just one of those things you're going to have to practice on your own, and you'll eventually get the timing of it perfectly where you're going to be able to detonate those. It's really good for when in, in like a really heated area like this area, this corridor where you can get really stuck in. Sometimes tossing those nades and lighting multiple enemies up very quickly can kill a ton of stuff. We're talking like crawlers that all want to get up in your face, and even sometimes the gore fast, which... For whatever reason, they just they they do that double shank where they run forward and they actually shank you at the same time. So there's a lot of stuff that you need to avoid. And as a firebug, I think that you've got a lot of some some of the best tools in your arsenal to be able to handle those. As we approach 
the spawn area that we actually start in. You can see it was, it was a couple circuits that we've run a, a few times here. But you can see here that it opens up, so you have a lot of options. Now, this is really what I like to call like kind of like a breathing room area. Double flesh pounds, really ugly right here. But you can see AJK, the demo man in our party, is going to handle those guys seamlessly. Unfortunately, we do have a raging scrake from the right side. I wanted to go and take the trash out from our front. I noticed that a husk was getting a little frisky there. I went to go ahead and take him up, but at that time, the burn animation had already sent him pacing back and forth, almost bunny strafing, if you want to call it that, bunny hopping, bunny strafing, I have no idea what the heck I'm talking about, regardless, we're moving forward here, now, you can see I'm gauging and trying to assess what's going on with the trash zeds, are there any sort of scrakes, are there any flesh pounds that I'm going to accidentally ignite and rage, you don't want to be raging those guys, now, this hallway in particular in Ice Cave can get really nasty. So what I would suggest, there are two doors to the left, two doors to the right. Before each round, I would highly recommend you either get a support or do it yourself. As well as many of those doors up to full integrity as possible because when those Zeds break through, in my opinion, I think it can really, really put a detriment to your ability to kite around the map. Even if you're holding an area because when those guys all explode out that door... <laughs> they can have flesh pounds, they can have husks, sirens, and probably all of the above is going to be charging you at the same time. You can see what we're doing is we're picking off enemies a little bit one by one, nice and easy, but you can see the tight corridor. I mean, honestly, if you were just a firebug here and you didn't have any ability to be able to stun them, you'd be in big trouble, you know what I mean? Even with the sirens and stuff like that. So you got to keep on your feet, and, you, and that's one thing I really like. Because this game, sometimes, if you're holding in one place, can get kind of predictable real fast, real quickly. You know, I think it's fun to keep moving because it keeps you in that mode where, oh, I don't know what could be around the corner, or if I know what's around the corner, regardless, I still have to kind of think about what's in front of me. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's that's kind of what you really, I mean, that's really what keeps the game fresh, in my opinion, is being able to continually move forward and move around the map. But uh, regardless, you know, that's why I kite. I mean, I'm a kiter right now. I mean, I've done the whole camping thing, which is cool. I still do it, but I mean, for the most part, I just like to kind of remain in motion, mainly because I'm kind of like one of those guys that just can't sit still. I kind of always have something going on, some project I'm working on or some goofy stuff, you know, <laughs> but uh, regardless, you can just see the trench gun. It's just, it's clean in house, man. And uh, honestly, with the flare revolver, you know, it's just it just makes it a really fun thing, and and, and pro, fun tip is when you kill something with a flare revolver, they like explode in a bunch of chunky giblets like with a headshot. So that is like an added reward for your awesome marksmanship. So everybody, I really hope you enjoy this video. We are whittling them down to 11 or so Zeds left to go, guys. I just want to straight up let you know, I mean, I've been so busy lately, and I am so sorry that I haven't been able to get as many videos as I really want. I mean, we just recently, last month, hit, like, the ability to make videos longer than 15 minutes, you know what I'm saying? So, I definitely want to plan some more videos as well. I kind of am in this weird mood to, like, try some new games out, you know what I mean? Some games that maybe I haven't even explored, you know what I mean? And that, that I've, I've, I've bought, but I just haven't had the time to play in depth. You know, games like Skyrim, I haven't even enjoyed that. And I, I mean, I've seen a lot of people talk about it like, dude, you have to try it. It's so amazing, you know? So I was like, you know, maybe I can bring you guys on this adventure of mine. <laughs> and, and again, you know, time is definitely of the essence for me. I, I've been working really hard, trying to study hard. And I'm sure many of you guys are kind of like, yeah, I mean, when you get older, dude, it's like the free time you thought you had is gone, man. You know what I mean? And like, the, you just try to like cling on to whatever free time you have, whether it be like a few hours of awesomeness you know whatever it is you know what i mean so i just like i said i'm just hoping you guys are doing great this crank is going ballistic right now <laughs> i don't know what happened there but uh, you can see our team was all over that <laughs> but anyways we're gonna go and cover the patriarch fight and uh from this point we're gonna move forward so i'm just gonna shut up real quick and let you enjoy the fullness and the in-depthness of the patriarch fight all right guys sorry it's out if you like this video please do me a favor as always give that love and support and if you want to subscribe, that's an added bonus. We have brand new videos on the way. Sorry, Sal. Have you ever wanted to work around before the Patriarch fight? Well, here we are. Jumping around like a bunch of goofballs. <laughs>
Just want to thank MRU, Grave Rose, AJK, Beastie, and Junaji Kumbana. I hope I pronounced all your names correctly. See you guys on the flip side. Sorry, so.